Hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. See us. Dark Nights. See us. So, didn't stream yesterday as planned. I had meant to send a tweet about that, but uh, in short, uh, yesterday was actually uh, Shep's, our long-term collab partner's uh, birthday stream. So I was over on their channel for that. Yes, I had meant to send a tweet about that, but I uh, was I was involved in the stream, so I forgot. But yes, anyway, so tonight, Ark Nights, like I said. But yes, nothing else coming up this week. Next week, we should be seeing quite a bit more Ark Nights. Again, it will be high, highly focused. But yes, I would very much like to beat uh, Operation Originium Dust also. So yeah, a little bit sleepy tonight. But regardless, I am going to persevere as best as I possibly can. Because I, yeah, we've only got about a week, which is not, you know, an incredibly short period of time, but it's shorter than I would like. But yes. So let's see, what else is there to say? Not a whole lot. But yes, last time around, we didn't make a whole, whole lot of progress. We got as far as the end of the first cutscene and the end of the first tutorial. So now, the original Team Rainbow, we have seen be transported to the world of Terra. And now they have to make, yeah, come, come to some sort of uh, understanding of their situation to deal with the various threats. And all of that. And so far, it seems that uh, crabs have been a big issue for them. But yes, we will see how things proceed going forward. But yes, once again, I expect this to go a little bit smoother than uh, loose and arrowhead, because I do have stronger units starting out, and also because I want to make sure that this gets done, so I'm not going to fool around. I will make whatever changes are necessary. I will not be stubborn. Well, I will, but... <laughs> I'll be less stubborn. I will do my best. So, let's see. Anything else to be said? Not really. I suppose we might as well just get right into things. Video games. All right. So, Operation OD-1. <coughs> yes, I have been grinding these stages a little bit. Not a whole lot, but anyway, pardon if you hear my dog in the background. He's a little bit, uh, a little bit noisy tonight. I'm back. No problems, I take it. Nothing of particular note within a 30 kilometer range. The area is safe for now. Very good. Let me take a look at the map. Hmm. We're on the right track. Keep north, and we should see a waypoint the locals call Trummel before long. We'll have an opportunity to rest at its base. From there, we can start moving west, and we'll be at Fecon within two days. Ah, Papillop, thank you for the follow. Yes. Um. Hmm. But yes, I'm afraid I don't, uh, not super interested in, in that. Thank you. You can feel free to keep watching, though. But yes, anyway. Is Fecon our destination? I get the feeling this may be a bot. If you are not, please tell me that you're not a bot. Otherwise, I will treat you as though you are a bot. Of course not, but it's the most suitable transfer station. Econ sees a lot of Colombian caravans, which we can follow to reach Twin River. There, we have a Rhodes Island branch office. Yeah, I was thinking bot, too. Alright, so. This is your last uh, chance to tell us you're not a bot, Papalop. Alright, not seeing any proof of non-botness, so uh, goodbye. Anyway, um, ah. 
that doesn't make it go away from the chat. Hold on. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. And I, I should be able to refresh, actually. All right, well, that does get rid of the non-bot message, but oh well. Anyway. If we can get to the branch office, we'll be able to secure ourselves some transportation. From there, the rest will be much easier. Music to my ears. Can't wait to wrap up this on foot odyssey. My shoe soles are worn straight flat. You ought to walk outside more. It's good for your health and you won't need to keep worrying so much about your weight. Hey! What about the communicator? Any linkable signal nodes? Still no good. The way I see it, we're not going to get any direct contact with the Rhodes Island landship until we reach Vicon. Not unless we can get our hands on a more powerful transmitter. You can forget about that. There's no other nomadic city to be found around here. Wait. That's why I made sure to ask you to bring more than enough food and water. It's a tall order to find any supplies on the way to Vicon. I do remember little settlements dotted around here and there, but after all these years, I could hardly say whether any of them are still where they used to be. So, you're pretty familiar with this area, Mr. Rangers. <laughs> I might have been a bit, bit a tad more familiar in my sprightlier days. Truth is, I haven't been around these wastelands in a long, long time. You drew that map yourself, Mr. Rangers. Indeed. Any good ranger can draw their own map, though I wouldn't have guessed this one would still be useful even now. The topography around here hasn't been marred by catastrophes too badly, but we might count ourselves lucky. I'm sorry for all the bother, bother we've made for you. Don't you worry about it. It's this old man's duty to look out for you young'uns. I share the responsibility for this mess. We wouldn't be in such a tight spot now if I had made the proper preparations beforehand. What, the band of mysterious mercenaries that ra raided the warehouse and by rotten luck just happened to make off with our car? Who's going to believe a story like that? I think it was the traitor, actually. Pulled our car apart to sell off the parts, then fed us some random explanation to cover up after the fact. I actually agree with you, for once. You didn't need to, the for once. The old me wouldn't have let him off as kindly as that if we were going by our old black steel mercenary customs. But you are Rhodes Island operators now, and much rather not see you get into fights with the locals. The medical supplies made it safely, and the trader didn't try to cook the books when paying us. We can't really ask for too much more. Carrying a sack of refined originium ingots across the barren lands by foot is incredibly dangerous. I won't deny how perforated their explanations were. We can't count on the local voile or mer mer merchants to be totally honest with us, so we'll keep an eye out for that next time. But, in the meantime, once we get back, you do have to report the property lost logistics. <sighs> yeah, this is just how Vava is. That said, I could likely find our way out of here, even without any maps or arts, but we'd be taking time we don't have. I worry we were too many for that, and our food and water wouldn't last us. You can navigate the Sargon Barren Lands without any tools? May I ask how? If we ever have the time in future, I can teach you a thing or two. It's all nothing more than my experience. How do I put it? You're very worthy of the Ranger of the Red Valley title, if I do say so. <laughs> so, you youngsters know how to tell an old tale or two as well, then. That's just an exaggerated title. Aren't those tales all true, though? Like how you rounded up and brought all the Jenkins 7 to justice in a single day? Or how you held off an entire column of Rust Hammer Bandits all by yourself? How you struck 10 targets with just a single arrow? Or how you shot down the Lateran's bullets while high up in the sky? My word, so this is what the stories are like now. My Sargon colleagues back at Blacksteel spoke of your tales from time to time, Mr. Rangers. They're all like this, pretty much. Stories not out of place in a theater. They wouldn't be out of place in a novel, either. You've heard them too, right, Miss Schwarz? 
Hmm. There was a mercenary traveling the breadth of Columbia who told me about one or two of them. I believe they were the Scimitar of the Bloody Valley and Tragedy of the Lord Amir. Hmm, a little exaggerated indeed. Rangers aren't as all-powerful as they've been portrayed. I can't suppose to know what you've all heard, but I can say that the most widespread stories are largely untrue. Rangers were not a fighting force. If you want my description, they were more akin to survivors banded together out in the wild. They started as just a couple of ordinary folk fallen into times of pain and strife. They stepped forth against the odds against it all. They protected villages against the scourges that would pillage them. They weren't trained warriors, any of them. They were a resistance, born in a time of war that knew a no other way, of devastation that took and took and took. They brimmed with anger under it. They refused to keel to cruel destiny through the months and the years of war. Afterwards, as more of them joined, as more and more joined them, they slowly grew from a lone autonomous militia of sorts to a collective of regional organizations, and so they resided across the wastelands, defending settlements while offering medical aid. I've read of that from my time at Blacksteel, from reports of the Sargon region. It wasn't just officials, but the rangers as well who'd pursue wasteland hooligans and mercenary looters to exhaustion out across the wastelands. What those reports refer to is the truth. I can say that. Back then, a group of rangers certainly had its heroes, and they certainly caught themselves a fair share of villains. The events you describe happened, but I stress that wasn't standard fare. The vast majority of the time, we rangers simply helped towns fix their wells, fend off wild beasts, gather medicine, that kind of stuff. Just the little things. Moreover, this area wasn't even Sargon territory back then. So, Mr. Rangers, back then, you must have been part of that group of heroes, right? <laughs> uh, this old man is hardly so prestigious. I was but a normal scout and nothing more. Normal? In the end, this organization of rangers ended up disbanding, didn't it? That certainly is a long story. Many things happened afterwards, to say the least, and once the war concluded, the Lord Amirs were settled, each with the land they wanted. Those Lord Amirs of Sargon would not tolerate an organization that bowed to no one, and the Rangers were one such organization. Of course, opinion from the Lord Amirs aside, there were many reasons why the Rangers disbanded, but these are past events, and it's been a very, very long time since. The nitty-gritty of it has all fallen out of this old man's head. So all those wild stories never actually happened? The truth is often mundane, so you remedy it by exaggerating how things happened, and you make the story dramatic. And only when it's dramatic enough do people pass it down. Your stories all picked up layers upon layers of artistry before they reached you. Alright, this old man's told plenty of himself. Let's get ourselves to leave. Wish this Frank outfit was purchasable? It is a pretty good outfit. I do like the, the new fashions on everyone. Yeah. But yes, thank you for dropping by Awesome O, by the way. And thank you for dropping by NC Point, by the way. Forgot to mention that earlier. By the sounds of things, we've already reached Sargon territory. We were already in Sargon as of last night. Can you please pay a little attention? When suddenly you're in trouble, I'll be the last one to help you. I love how much you suck. The land we step on is now the jurisdiction of the Lord Amir of Bayalir, though his provisional capital is still a few way still a ways away. After that, uh oh, it seems there's something of a disturbance. Hold, stop moving. You heard that too. All of you, stay still. Something's approaching. It's close. It's underneath us. Scatter. Franca, move. The first to help. Hideous monstrosity. Roars. What, what are these? Are these sand beasts? Since when do sand beasts grow like this? One, two... No, there's just too many. 
Move into formation. Be ready for battle. All right. The conflict begins. Whoop, okay, we don't need to... Don't, don't auto-deploy. We'll only need to do this once. Okay. So. So I've looked up a little bit. Last time, I added Sora to my squad, but we never got a chance to use her, and I never really knew what she did. But yes, now I do, though. So yes. So. I had assumed that the basic ability of Bards was to provide inspiration, but uh, it turns out that is not strictly the case. At least uh, Sora does not do it on a basic level. But yes. So she starts out with uh, her Hymn of Respite, like we've seen. Or, like I had mentioned. But yes, which puts enemies to sleep within an area around her. But she doesn't provide an inspiration effect with her first skill. But yes, so inspiration effects are a type of buff. Inspiration doesn't stack and doesn't apply to bards. They can't receive it from themselves or from other units. But it provides various benefits. Um, and yeah, so it doesn't stack. So if you have two units offering inspiration to the same stat, it doesn't, uh, like, you know, if you have a 50% increase and a 60% increase from inspiration, the total is just a 60% in increase. You don't get a 110% increase, or even the increases being multiplied with each other. But yes, so what Sora does do, however, and we did see this from, you know, reading the description of her is that she uh, heals her nearby allies for a certain percentage, 10% of her attack each turn. Or each turn? Each second, rather. But yes, anyway. Never used a bard before, but we'll keep her around just for the sake of it. All right. Operation OD1, field records. All right, ladies, let's keep it cool. So, Sora is not terribly expensive, is she? I'm here to help. Yeah, I suppose she does have... She is relatively weak at this level, so that makes some sense. But yes, so, we can... We could reinforce that. We might not strictly need to, necessarily. Oh dear. Oh dear, I just realized Myrtle... <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, try that again, because I realized that Myrtle was in a bad way stranger to running for it but this is just too embarrassing it is a little bit embarrassing oh, yes thanks to you thank you for dropping by tvpg all right so let's try that again this time we'll put myrtle in a place where she can you know live let's look alive out there Ironically, I tend to place my vanguards at the very farthest back location that I can. Very nice. But yes, so with the healing, she should probably do just fine. But yes, we are going to have some beasts being an issue, but with a... Pardon? Oh, right, 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 okay. Emergency, emergency maneuver. So, I forgot about these little things and how they split. Hmm, that was not so great. Okay. So, let's reinforce this while I have the opportunity. Um, hmm, that was maybe a poor choice. Eh, I suppose it's fine. I'm not that concerned. I guess I could have... Yeah, I could have used healing wings earlier and had a unit available, but oh well. Lessons learned. Savage. It to me. I certainly will. But yes, so these beasts will split into these little smaller beasts when they have been defeated. Get clear. It is kind of funny seeing, uh, seeing Sora doing her little dance there with no music playing. I guess there is music playing, but it's not the sort of music that I would associate with what she is doing currently. Yes, Myrtle is doing pretty okay. Is he a Savage? Savage only has two block, so I think we will want more blocking. 
just in case the numbers start to catch up to us a little bit. And I don't see any particular reason not to. I guess, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know how much the sandstorm, how much damage the sandstorm does. And if it would be, if it would be possible for Sora's healing to protect someone from the sandstorm. Is it my turn? Sure, let's put some things to sleep. Actually, that was a, I guess that's not strictly necessary. But yes, um, so yeah, so sleep is a status effect that stops enemies, but unlike stun, it, uh, prevents them from, well, yeah, okay. But yes, unlike stun, it makes it so they are also untargetable. Most of your units cannot attack sleeping units. There are some characters who are able to, uh, attack sleeping enemies, but they are not common. But yes, the top the top sand dune is going to break sooner or later, but I don't know if it's going to break if before. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to break before we've had the opportunity to uh, see if someone can withstand the sandstorm powered by Sora's sweet melodies. What's next? Oh well, all right. No chance to use Mjolnir three again. I suppose she uses Mjolnir 3 every time she hits something, but you know. Sit. <clears throat> hmm. The music seems like it just cut out there for a second, but I guess that was just it trans transitioning over to the... Yeah, the music for the, like, actual event, which is quite quiet. But yes. All right, into the after story. Sip. Last one here. Everyone else? Any wounded? No worries here. None here either. Communications equipment? Unharmed. Is this its burrow? Strange. They seem like sand beasts, at least. Sand beasts of this size, over two meters long? I've spent the better part of my life in these wastelands, but never have I seen a sand beast capable of digging holes. These creatures have iridium crystals on their bodies. Hmm. Possibly biological mutations caused by iridium pollution, then? There's no nomadic cities, no factories, and no mines. How does iridium pollution even happen here? Has it been a catastrophe's fault? You'd be underestimating nature. Wildlife knows catastrophes far better than we do. These creatures would have been the first to avoid originium pollution. Cities can be torn apart by catastrophes while the wildlife emerges untouched. Nature in this world is ruthless when it wants to eliminate you. If you don't have some way of dealing with originium, your time as a living species won't be long. I think I have a hypothesis. Like ordinary originium slugs, the body's outer shell could have absorbed originium into its makeup while the innards remain clean and uncorrupted. On that note, has PRTS ever recorded any similar cases? None. Not even for Ironforge City leakage in Colombia, and that's the first thing you'd think of. Sand beasts are docile creatures by nature. Originium shouldn't change them so drastically, but I can't imagine anything short of arts would make them outright aggressive. Stay vigilant. Don't let your guard down. Arts? A caster? just hope this doesn't complicate things for us. Don't let it worry you too much. We'll continue as on as we were anyhow. Understood. Is this a Rhodes Island emergency rescue signal? Is it another Rhodes Island field team, maybe? Oh, I uh, finally answered. Help us. Questing support. This is a Rhodes Island field personnel team. If you receive this, please reply. This is Long Spring Watchtower 33. Mob currently. They've come in. Calm down. Operator, tell us what's happened. The signal's very poor. They're coming through intermittent. 
help us. Thank you. A burst of sharp static and communications break off. Well, that's not good. What does Watchtower 33 refer to? From the sounds of it, it sounded like a Rhodes Island opera safe house's code name. Safe house? The mission brief didn't mention any safe houses around here. Hmm. Truthfully, in a few areas, Rhodes Island will make a habit of hiding some safe houses out of the way for use in very particular field missions. But we ourselves don't know where Watchtower 33 is. Long Spring. Long Spring. That name rings a faint bell. If you could let me see the map for a second. Hmm. Here. If I'm not mistaken, following about 20 kilometers north from Trumhill, you should find another canyon. That village had a, that canyon had a little village near it. I'm sure of it. That village, years ago, had a well, one of the very few reliable water sources for miles around. So that's why it's Long Spring. So what do we do next? Change of plans? Or we can try and make Rafikon overnight, get in touch with the branch office and see what assistance we can procure from them. I worry that the operator in the safe house may not last long enough for that. All of you, keep going until you reach Vicon and find some support or other there if you can. I'll be heading for Long Spring and see what the situation is. Don't you worry. I know this land very, very well indeed. I can afford to be more flexible on my lonesome. If things get out of hand there, I'll head back for Fecon promptly and join up with you all. That... I object. Oh? I'm aware how wary it is of me to say our sandburring mutants and the safe house's discreet best call may not be may not just be coincidence, but the Sargon Barons demand we must maintain vigilance. We are not clear about the area surrounding Long Spring. Given we are not, you would gamble more loan than you can afford, Rangers, sir. I'd also like to recommend we move for Long Spring as one. If things aren't friendly for us, we can still cover for each other, especially during a retreat. Hmm. That does make sense. Yes, you're right. The old man will listen. I ought to at my age, anyhow. Can't be as spry and reckless as I was in my younger years. This thing is ugly as sin. Ugliness is a personal thing subject to the eye of each beholder. You should be seeing through, you ought to be seeing through, to what this creature embodies, signifies. See through to the myriad array of evolutionary possibilities that it testifies to. Order is but our own arbitrarily imposed concept which nature suffers. All the world and its beings were, in their primordiality, chaos seized by impermanence. Russian? Of course, I don't expect any of your sort to understand that in the first place. It's only natural your soft, ignorant little brains can't grasp the grand strokes of the evolutionary scheme. <laughs> A language I know, please? Of course, dear sir. Setting apart the matter of whether or not it is as ugly to you, I must say you are seeming not wholly satisfied with it. Else you would not be looking for me in the first place. It still isn't strong enough, schoolboy. Your little beastie couldn't even make the Lord, the Lord's escort, bl Lord's escort blink. Surely you do not suppose it was down to the sheer incompetence of your ignorant little mercenaries. Those mute, these mutant creatures are weapons, just weapons. If they knew tactics for themselves, you could throw every mercenary of yours into the garbage heap the next day. Bite it, old coot! I'm gonna twist your head off. Hold it. <sighs> he face palms. Listen, schoolboy. I'm not backing your research so you can talk my ear off about a branch of a bunch of nonsense. You're here for me to solve practical problems. I acknowledge it, no mistake, your research is something else. But if you can't help me depose my of my father with it, then you and your little shop of horrors can walk yourself into the garbage heap. My patience is limited. As is mine. I have explained this to you over and over already, and I do not wish to do it again, because I do not wish to waste my time. You think you can fool me? 
I had poured money into your little experiment for half a year, the likes of which you'll never see in your entire life, and I don't think I've seen an equal return on it. Where's that cruel and frightening army you promised me? Where's that might to make the heart no fear, huh? You think all it takes to keep me happy is a bunch of ugly, swollen, light-up sand beasts? What does it take for you to understand? The fruits of scientific research need time to grow swollen. If money was all it took to accelerate the march of science to ripen the fruit, I would have long flown away to the moon by now. Enough of that. I'll give you two more days, and I want to like what I see. Imbecile. You speak in a language I don't understand one more time, and I'll throw you and all your little creations into the barren lands to make merry until the sun goes down. Go on. Try me. Ugh. Fetch me some corpses. Come again? Fetch me some corpses. People's corpses. Corpses like the ones you leave behind. Any will do. Of course, ones blighted by the Origineum infection will do even better. What do you need those for? You wretched old coot. Now you want to insult the dead, huh? Did you not want the might to make the heart no fear? Then do not hang yourself up on all that pernicious, useless witter you might otherwise call ethics. The corpses. Bring them to me. I would like to have you see something interesting. Chief, this goes completely against the Lord Amir of Baelir's great commandments. The old coot is trying to dupe you. You want to take the dead and raise me some Zehadens? I do not know whatever this ghoulish thing you call a Zehaden is. But rest assured, you will find confidence in the fruits of my scientific research. Chief, I don't think... Shut up. Old boy, I want you to listen carefully. You might think you're the peak of intellect intelligence. You might think you've seen every move on the board. You might think there's nothing you don't know. But don't think about playing a fast one on me. I've gotten to know your kind all too well. Everyone like you dies before they think they're, they're too smart to die. Because they think they're too smart to die. The only reason I still put up with you... Oops. Pardon? The only reason I still put up with you is because you're still useful. I can get you what you need. But don't disappoint me, because you will not like what comes after. Well then, what else can I possibly say? Good luck to you. You're still alive. Don't forget who you have to thank for it. Without me, your research would amount to a pat out of nothing. If not for me, you'd be six months dead, rotting in this ore mine. I'm leaving you two here. Watch him. Got it, boss. Gaggle yeah, imbeciles. Every second I spend talking to you is, spe is spent killing off my precious brain cells. Yes. Been here half a year, huh? Considering that, uh, as far as last we checked in with them, Team Rainbow's been here for a few hours. That's quite something, isn't it? The Age Scholar reaches the depths of the caverns. Meandering tunnels lined by frames of cast concrete set in a particularly yet strange pattern. The things in here were never meant to be here. Within gray, white metal walls, instruments and devices not of this world wind up into operation. And within a culture chamber, manufactured of clear glass, originium enveloped in connective tissue floats. It contracts, it relaxes, it convulses. Originium. It boggles my mind that this world has such an extraordinary existence gracing it. Yet... Somehow, these locals fear it in their ignorance. Fear what evolution this great power brings with it. But, oh, but no. Oh, of course, they should be afraid. For the fool fears the unknown. The fool fears might. The fool fears progress. Ignorance. Oh, you ignorance. Very interesting. Sip. <clears throat> ah, sip. 
be then. All right. So, more story. Mission log, day 184. Well, I guess that explains some things. Currently, we are still holding fast in this rundown house. The 184th day of the mission and the 27th day of reaching the aforementioned rundown house. Who would believe that we've already lived in this place for 184 days? We still have no clues about this world. Two weeks ago, based on instructions from the locals, we left this rundown house and headed to another town. Before we left, the townspeople said it was a more developed place. I am unsure if our definitions of developed are the same. What happened? Turns out it was a bandit den. No batteries, no useful information, not even a single person we could communicate normally with. And of course, we didn't leave empty-handed. Tina acquired a car. The process was long and arduous and used up much of what little supplies and ammunition we still had. However, the car was heavily damaged during the conflict and broke down soon after we returned to the house. Alexander tried to repair the car, but this car still didn't have an obvious fuel intake point, and on further inspection, even the fuel tank was absent. The engine structure was completely incomprehensible to him, to the point he wasn't even sure if it was actually an engine. The only good news is that was that it was a left-hand drive car. Having been in this world for half a year by now, we are very certain that this place is not Earth. Stealing cars and getting into gunfights. It's like we're fugitives in a post-apocalyptic film. Those bandits with long lizard tails didn't even need to use guns as they were able to throw javelins weighing up to 10 kilograms to a distance of tens of meters away. The term gunfight may not be accurate here. Some of them could even create huge fireballs from thin air and launch them with the effect somewhere in between a grenade and an RPG. This world is far too abnormal to the point where I'm no longer surprised by anything. The adaptability of humans often exceeds my expectations. It seems like we will continue to struggle to survive here. Today will be the last day I'm recording. I don't plan on recording anymore. Storage for this recorder is almost full, and the battery will not last much longer. Our only source of power on this world is Tina's solar charger. Thank goodness this world has a sun, too. What would happen if this charger broke, or if we used up all the supplies and ammunition? To be frank, I don't know. The situation still feels unreal to me, with everything being so weird, yet so natural. Which way is the path we took back home? Or which way is the path back home? Come on, Luman. Look at this. Hey, you don't eat vegetables? Let me see what else I have here. What are you doing? Ah, come look at Uman, my little buddy. You're raising a... What's, what's this called again? Originium slug. That's what the locals call these things. You still have the mood to raise this? Why not? I'm spending all day sitting on the roof after all. I might as well find something to do. I'd be talking to my machine gun all the time. Your job is to keep aware of the surrounding area's safety, not to play around with this snail thing. What you've said makes sense, but what are we guarding against? Those quivering infected, or the townsfolk living a kilometer away who never come here anyway? The only living thing that's come close to this dump of a house is a flying lizard, which I suppose helped out with the ration issue. Where's Tina and Kotz? They went to exchange supplies with those infected people. Tina managed to hunt some stuff again yesterday. She's is becoming pretty experienced at it. Tina went out to hunt by herself again? Of course, she's even enjoying it. She's been trying to capture a wild bird and beast. By the way, Kotz went to the town. Remember that thing I dismantled from the car? Kotz says he said he knows a mechanic in town and wanted to ask about it. Fine. You're too anxious, Cohen. Just relax. We can't return any time soon, anyway. Learn from Kotz and go talk with those people. They are somewhat friendly, at least. I still haven't learned the local language. Man, Kotz really knows his stuff. That's what I'm afraid of. Afraid of what? 
Lots is getting too close to these people. It's a, it isn't a good thing. The atmosphere around here is very abnormal. That town is too full of contradictions. We've been here for nearly a month. Don't tell me you haven't picked on that at you picked up on that yet. A local government office official who stays in his manor all day and never leaves. Oh, I guess the proper term is Lord. And there's those fully armed private soldiers of his as well. In this infected zone. The entire region is governed by the same Lord, yet those infected are not allowed to live in the town. Even the other townsfolk are unwilling to approach this place. They were driven here. That's because those friends got a strange sickness. The act of separating the sick when an infectious disease is raging is about is not uncommon after all, even in the past. At least the Lord did not just lock them all up in prison. Originium sickness, or was it orpathy? I don't remember the exact term. All we know about this sickness is that it's related to Originium. It is infectious and is incurable. But how does it actually spread between people? What does it being incurable actually mean? No one's answered our questions, and I assume that we should know the basic situation. This disease is either common sense in this town, or it is common sense in this world. If it is only contact with originium ore that will cause problems, then I don't think that it is necessary to carry out quarantine measures. Besides, the doctor also thinks that there is no risk of infection from our frequency and distance of interaction with these infected. This infected zone is just a wallless prison, breeding hate between the infected and the town folk. You can even feel it without seeing it for yourself. The word I'm using is hate, not just exclusion and discrimination. Hate is carved into every word they speak, every action they do. It's become part of their culture. Hate. You understand what I mean? This isn't just a problem about an unknown disease anymore. We shouldn't get involved in any local conflicts. Just imagine the scenario. If the townsfolk began grabbing torches, raising, raising pitchforks, and rushing into these infected's homes, what would you do then? Shoot them down? Hard to say. We have them to thank for our food, water, and medicine for the past few months. Before this, we've been trudging back and forth across this treacherous wasteland, being attacked by anything that moves and not getting a single glimpse of civilization until we got their help. Do you really think we can just mind our own business, Cohen? If they grabbed weapons and broke into Dr. Miaro's clinic, do you think you would want to just stand aside and watch? As for the problem you mentioned earlier, I don't think the infectiousness can be in ignored. It is, it's as if everyone in this world has undergone professional chemical warfare training. They are always covering up their nose and mouth and being extremely sensitive about protecting their respiratory systems, no matter their age or gender. I've repeated this point before as well, but we must, that we must prepare uh, uh, similar protections for ourselves. The doctor also approved of us keeping our distance. Thankfully, the infected don't have any complaints towards this. Perhaps this is normal to them. What did the doctor say about this? I didn't ask him. None of us asked him. Every time we mention this topic, he always looks as though he would rather avoid it completely. As long as he thinks our defensive measures are fine, I wouldn't bother him about it. Shh. I did not order pizza. There's no need to match passwords, Miss Cohen. It's me, Miaro. Right on cue. Hold on, let me open the door. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Miss Cohen. Good morning, Mr. Alexander. Uh, we were just talking about you. You do realize you're raising an originium slug, Mr. Alexander? Yeah, this little thing is actually pretty fun to play with. Ina caught some earlier, and this one was too small, so I kept it. So, you come to look for Tina? No, I'm here to deliver stuff. These are medical supplies. There were more leftovers this time. Thank you very much, Doctor. We're always imposing on you. I should be the one thanking you. It's all thanks to those Originium slugs Miss Tina caught that we have enough painkillers for the next few months. Though these Originium slugs really can cure diseases... How do I put it? Orpathy is incurable. This 
Remedy made by fermenting the body fluids of Originium slugs can only help to relieve the pain. It cannot actually cure the disease. However, being able to relieve the pain is already a great blessing to the infected. Crystallization on the skin will affect normal life, and so the pain is unbearable, and the pain is so unbearable for some that they cannot even move. It's great that we can be of help. This is the book that you asked me to look for you uh, asked me to look for you last time. I specifically looked for one in the Ursus language. Oh, good day. Let me take a look. Right. Hmm. Can you understand it? With some difficulty. At a glance, it looks like Cyrillic. But when I look closer at it, there are many differences. At least you have something to do now. Just treat it as learning a foreign language. It should be more interesting than playing with a snail. Speaking of language, what do you call the language of speaking now? Your accents are a little weird. But it is undoubtedly the Victorian language. Victoria. What about the locals? What do they speak? The people here speak Sargonian, though Sargonian itself has a lot of dialects. For example, most Sargons can't understand the Sargonian spoken by the tribes from the rainforest in East Sargon. That's complicated. Ursus, Ursus. What kind of place is Ursus? Right. I'm not too sure myself. Back in school, they used to say that Ursus was in the far north and covered in snow year-round. It's ruled by a czar. But I don't know anyone who's been to Ursus. <laughs> czar. What's wrong? You seem disappointed. A little. If I have the chance, I'd really like to take a look at this place called Ursus. Traveling to faraway places. That sounds nice. Perhaps only great people like you are able to do it. If possible, I also have hope to travel to Columbia to complete my studies and become a real doctor. Alas, I don't have that much money, and the patients here still need me. You're still young. There's always a chance in the future. Maybe. Oh, right, there's one other thing. Please don't go outside for a while and hide that car of yours as well. What happened? Did something happen in town? Yes. How did you know? Last night, I saw the Lord's soldiers patrolling by the wall. That was unusual. Actually, the Lord's soldiers have been doing night patrols in the infected zone for a week now. Recently, monsters have been appearing in town. They've attacked many people. Monsters? Man, all the animals in this world are already so strange. I don't dare imagine what a monster would be like. The townsfolk have been claiming, complaining about the infected lately. Do you want to move to the second floor of my clinic for a few days? The Lord's soldiers will come to inspect this ruined house sooner or later. Will it be fine, Doctor? It might bring you trouble. You've helped me out so much. I don't think it's a big deal. I agree with the Doctor. Clashing with the Lord's soldiers will get us, get us involved in the local issues and bring more trouble upon us. I don't want to get into a fight with those two-meter-tall dog-head people. Dog? What? <clears throat> I'll tell you about that next time. Someone's coming. I did not order the pizza. Alexander, open the door! It's Tina. Hold on. Calm down. What happened? Cohen! Trouble! A group of armed townsfolk are blocking the road to the infected zone, and the infected are all confronting them. Those people are acting very aggressively, demanding that someone be handed over to them. You see? What did I say earlier? Speak of the devil. Townsfolk? Armed? Why? The Lord's soldiers do not allow normal townsfolk to approach the infected zone. That just means the Lord's soldiers no longer have the time to care about this place anymore. Wait, what about Cots? Didn't Kotz go into the town this morning? Kotz said he was going to look for a mechanic in town this morning, but he hasn't returned yet. Oh no. What do we do? Go check it out first. At least make sure Earth Kotz is there. Did we bring weapons? 
bring them just in case, but don't attack unless absolutely necessary. All right. No, wait. Don't worry, let me handle it first. I'm more familiar with the townsfolk. Let me negotiate with them. All right, doctor, please be careful. It's fine, the townsfolk, they're reasonable. Sounds like they could be more reasonable, given circumstances. Hand that person over. Give us that suspicious person. All of us saw it. What are you talking about? Don't lie to us, you pollutants. I know about all the recent happenings while you were your guys' doings. You ungrateful maggots. The Lord should never have allowed you to stay. I saw a large and heavily wrapped up person leave town and sneak over here earlier. Hand him over. I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, since you refuse to give up this false pretense, we don't need to be courteous anymore. Everyone, get them. Don't you dare. You really think we're pushovers? Everyone, they want to fight. Hey, stop. Don't fight. Let's talk first, alright? What? Mr. Kotz, didn't I tell you ask you to hide? It's fine. Don't worry. Let me talk with them. This accent. You're not from here. Who are you? <sighs> what do I do now? Ahem. I am a, a blitz. I'm a merchant. One who collects trash. Merchant. If you're a merchant, why do you have to sneak around? What do you have under that bulging robe of yours? Come on, show us. Capture him. Bring him to the Lord. Fine, fine, fine. I'll listen to you. I'll go with you guys. There's no reason for us to fight, right? I'll explain clearly to your lord. M Mr. Cotts. Capture these guys as well. I suspect they're all accomplices. You, don't go too far. What right do you have to capture the others? Oh, come on. Bro, that's pretty unreasonable of you. These friends just bought, bought some Originium slugs that I hunted. Surely it's not a crime to sell Originium slugs. Who knows if you people are colluding together to plan something sinister. Capture them. Capture all of them. Stop. Are you all planning to go against Lord Tula's will? Doctor, you finally come. Ah, uh, apologies, Dr. Miaro. Lord Tula ruled that no one is allowed to approach this zone unless you are an infected as well. What are what? Are all of you infected? Don't bother trying to smooth talk us. What kind of relationship do you have with this outsider? Spit it out. Otherwise, we'll capture you as well. He's a patient of mine. There's no rule that my clinic cannot accept outsiders as patients. Well then, since you want to stop me, why don't you try and see? What are you planning to do? Don't waste time here. Bring them away. H hold on. You... You're not from this town. What do you think of it? The doctor is trying to reason with them, but the other side are stubborn as, as bulls. Doesn't seem like it can re be resolved peacefully. Don't be rash. Let the doctor handle it. Cohen, something's wrong. Huh? You see those big guys at the back there? I see them. What are those things that they're carrying? They're wrapped in cloth. That size doesn't seem like they're farming tools. Would normal farmers carry these kinds of heavy weapons? Even in this world, I don't think farmers would till the fields while carrying huge swords. They're not here to talk, Cohen. Don't do anything stupid. Both of you, cover me. Understood. Rat, shut your mouth if you don't want to die. You're not from here. I've never seen you before. Who are you people? What are you planning to do it here? Huh? You guys are just like thieves crying, Stop, thief! Guards, there are intruders here. Guards! Everyone, there are intruders! You talk too much. Time to shut up. Huh? Doctor, get down. Get 
guns. They're mercenaries. Why are there mercenaries in the infected zone? Don't ask. Don't worry about it. We have to bring them all back, dead or alive. Do it. Don't even think about it. Lord, cover fire. To the done so from the start. Taste this. Russian profanity. All right. The battle begins. But yes, it looks like there are some mercenaries stirring up trouble. A bit of a similar situation to what we had last time. Though I suppose last time there weren't uh, mercenaries per se. And I suppose it did take us a little while to get to the phase where, yeah, the soldiers were stirring up trouble. Anyway, so, let us continue. I almost feel like I should swap in some of the uh, Rhodes Island personnel that we've got. Oh, uh-oh. Hmm, I lost connection on OBS there for a second. That's unfortunate. So, let's put Myrtle in the back here. Yes. Um, it looks like we are not doing great for a connection. Hmm. I was going to say Myrtle doesn't seem to be taking damage, but uh, that's because she's in a space where she wouldn't. I kind of... Again, I do want to see how this treats us, so I think we're going to live with Myrtle in this position for right now. And we'll see how things go. Hmm? Um, the Chanka, perhaps? I don't want to put them on the lower rank, but I also want to maybe put enemies over there. Um, hmm. Let's... And now let's just nice. use the Chanka. Let's not You're overthink things too much. There. This is a very low-level mission, anyway. Let's go! Again, probably Savage would have been better. In fact, yeah, now that I think about it, Savage, well, okay, I was going to say Savage, uh, let's reinforce this because I don't want Sora to be taking any more damage than strictly necessary. But yes, anyway, I was going to say Savage down, or rather, uh, the Chanka down there, Savage up where Tachanka is, probably would have been a pretty decent formation. But again, I do want to experiment with this. And if I put if I put I'm anyone down the there, hostiles. they're not going to be within healing range. Doctor, so I suppose I, I, the rallying. I could place, say, Gaviel, like so, but I'd have to put her a little bit back, of course. Hmm? We do have other oh. sources of healing, I but serious now. Yes, I can handle this. Yeah, Sora only has healing in the spaces directly adjacent to her. All right, let's see how this treats us. Yes, for a second I was thinking that only uh, the Chanka was taking uh, damage, but no, it does seem that everyone is. And it also seems that uh, this passive healing from uh, Sora's ability is not sufficient for our purposes. So, we're going to have to rethink things a little bit. Ready to heal. Hmm... I don't know if I want to place two... Uh, again, I, yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't need to think of it. I don't need to overthink it. We can just kind of go for it, really. All right. Let's... Yeah, let's just go for it. And I guess... Hmm, Pays wouldn't really be in a position to do much from there. Hmm, okay. She is blocking something, so that's... We don't want her to falter. Oh dear, okay. Hmm. We've had another enemy get past us, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Lift, please, thank you. Alright, see, so yeah, again, Savage more forward would have been good. That would have allowed for more... Uh, yeah, that would have allowed for more uh, blocking. Or rather, for taking out enemies more efficiently. Yes, the beasts are being taken care of well enough, though. 
Savage is outside of healing range. Like treatment, you gotta oh no, no, she is. A, she is still within Gabriel's healing range. Ooh, almost got her around me, guys. Hmm. Watch for the blast. I don't quite have all of the healing that I would like necessarily. Because Gabriel is does seem to be prioritizing healing herself, which is not so great. Um. Uh, maybe not healing so herself dummy. specifically, but What's next? regardless, let's move some units out. We've got some unpleasant customers coming in, it seems like. Um, do we have... Yes, we do. We should Stay have alert. enough. Setting barricade. Yes, okay. Let's get some welcome mats on the go. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. These remind me a lot of the exploding uh, originium slugs, and I don't like them so much. I don't think they're going to explode. If you I guess, yeah, more AoE would closer. probably Setting also be... Up. would also treat us well here, I think. Hmm, okay. Well, I've just placed rope. Oh, no. Yeah, she does have range. Never mind. I was worried that she wouldn't have range on the enemies there. Sora is mostly just here for emotional support at this point. But I suppose that's kind of what a bard is anyway. She may be a little bit more careful about these traps, considering, yeah, we don't necessarily want the slugs to get trapped. Or I guess, I don't know if these are slugs, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm, I guess we could put a trap there, but it really wouldn't do much for us. Um... Okay, we are on, running together. out of blockers, but we don't have any more melee units on standby. Hmm. Ah, actually. Well. No, that's not going to hold them for long enough. Um. Let's. Do we? No, we don't have enough. Uh... Oh, no. Actually, if we do this right, we might just be able to hold. But, um, it looks like we didn't do this right, so we're not going to be able to hold. Alright, well, it is what it is. Well, it is what it is. But yes, we now know an important fact about the Sandstorm, and it is the fact that, uh, no matter how well you can sing, you cannot, unfortunately, you cannot cancel out the wind. Oh well. So, let's play that a little bit smarter this time. Ew. It's driving me wild. This oh, yes. sweet, sweet smell of freedom. Fair enough. I'm here to help. Anyway, so, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Do the... Yeah, okay. So, the sandstorms deal damage, and they, uh... They deal damage, and they reduce our attack. They also slow enemies, which is what I was kind of aiming for there. But, again, I do have to be mindful of all of this. We could use Haze, but I think that Gray would probably be more Ooh, useful for what I'm looking for. Ooh, we're counting on you again today, little apple. Yes. Again, I do hope to put Sachanka sort of in the back here so he can shoot over that tile. Oh boy. And Good assist. Job. Yeah, to assist uh, Savage. The damage is quite good on him, of course. Let's go. We will place Blitz just in case. We will need some healing before too long, but without the issue of the Sandstorm, we honestly might be able to get away with using Sora. All right, very good. Oh, actually, we do need to reinforce so that Sora herself is protected. And I guess I was thinking about keeping these uh, sand piles unfortified so that enemies would get uh, affected by the sandstorm more, but really, enemies can't get up on these tiles, so I didn't really need to worry about that. Target located. Attack! What All kind right. of battle will it end up being? Please, please. Alright, we don't have a great 
yeah, I think it's more useful to have him able to attack positions that our defenders are, or that our other blockers are blocking. Slowly and carefully. The sand pit crumbles away to nothing. Whoops. For a second there, I thought that, that tile that was just un uncovered might have been a, uh, a pit, but it doesn't look like it. Um, this should be just fine, I think. Let's go. I guess I could have waited to uh, activate or yeah, have her skill trigger. And we might as well have Frost do some damage a little bit earlier. Don't let them get the drop on you. All right, Savage. Savage is pretty good at dealing with large numbers of enemies on uh, short notice, especially given that these ones have very low health. She is, in fact, ready. I really do need to be more careful with these traps, because we're really Deploy. not getting a lot of value out of a lot of them. Because, yeah, what I'm using them to... Using them to block enemies that really don't need to be blocked. Yes, Mutant Rock Spider. Okay. So yeah, so that is in fact a spider, Deploy. and not a slug, despite its appearance. Can you believe it? But yes, we could change Myrtle, or we could swap out Myrtle, but we don't really have another blocker, per se. So it might not be that valuable. But, we can get some snags with rope Deploy. every now and then, so. Actually, now that I think about it. Snow Sand might be, like, really good for this. Depending on whether the spiders count as, uh... Yeah, whether or not they count as infected creatures. Which, they seem pretty infected, but, you know, maybe not. Yeah, I suppose the optimal position for a trap would probably be close to in front of Savage. Yes. So yeah, that does... Eh, I don't know. Again, we're Setting really up. not, like, doing too... We're not oh, being yes. too uh, efficient with the traps, but we don't really need to. Honestly, I probably don't need to spend this much time thinking about this stage. Might as well just fast forward through it once we've got a solved uh, configuration. Well, Savage... Uh, Savage did pass out there at the end, but other than that, we did pretty good. But yes, S Sora's healing was quite uh, quite decent for our purposes there. Obviously, she didn't have a whole lot of healing long term, but, you know. Or at least she didn't have the sort of high, high impact healing Savage needed, but. So, it is what it is. I suppose that is sort of the shortcoming of her being able to take out enemies pretty quickly is that she'll have a lot of enemies stopping in front of her to attack. <clears throat> anyway, the after story. Cease fire. Watch out for civilians. They're getting away, Cohen. Don't bother with them. Protect the others. Someone come here. There are injured people here. Let's bring them inside. Doctor, are you okay? I'm here. I'm fine. My leg. My leg is broken. My leg. Also, my arm is doing a lot better, incidentally. Calm down. Your leg is still here. It's just dislocated. Rate your teeth. Mama. Mama. Has anyone seen Algar's mother? Help me, please. We're running out of bandages. Those profanity. Is there a fire over there? Is it the town center in that direction? Looks like this isn't the only place that was attacked. Why? Where do the Lord's guards go? Don't care about those guards or whatever anymore. There are sounds of fighting everywhere now, and it's only getting worse. We can't stay here. It's too wide open. Let's move those wounded behind this building for now. Monsters. The monsters have come again. 
hell? This is endless. Alexander, get on the roof and cover us. Understood. There's no time, Doctor. We need to leave this place. But where can we go? Let's go to your clinic. He's infected. Don't worry too much about it. Let's get everyone to, the, to go to your clinic first. All right. Someone lend a hand. He can't walk anymore. Cots, can you go and check if there's anyone else hiding in these houses? Let's get everyone here to the clinic. Stay safe. Understood. This is really a disaster. Forty plus people. Is everyone here? Y yes. Everyone we've rescued is here. How many are we missing? Quite a number. Maybe they went to the other side of the town. But some old ones, they didn't make it. Don't beat yourself up. It's not your fault. These monsters, where are they from? Are they trained beasts? I don't know. I've never seen anything like them before. When those thugs drew their weapons, these monsters began burrowing out of the ground. Who cares where they came from? How can there be so many of them? How's the surrounding situation? A big mess. There's sounds of combat from the other side of the town. I don't know what happened there. How much ammo do we have left? Not much. I only have four magazines left. If Alexander runs out of ammo, then we're in big trouble. Ammo isn't the biggest problem right now. This house isn't going to last much longer. Judging by those monsters' size, if we even let one or two escape, they will definitely smash through this wall and it'll be impossible to stop them. We need a plan. Doctor, how are the patients doing? Many of them are wounded. I'm only able to do simple treatment. We're lacking bandages and disinfectants. Is there any way to leave the town for now? Where would we go after leaving town, while bringing as many with us? That food and water going to the wasteland means certain death. I don't think these monsters will give up on attacking us. If we get to the wastelands, we'll just be in a worse position without any cover or means of fighting ourselves. Besides, we've all witnessed their burrowing abilities. I know a place. It might be safe. There's a special building to the south at the south side of town. It might be the safest place in town, barring the Lord's residence. You elaborate. There was this medical organization called Rhodes Island, which rented a piece of land at the edge of town. Later, they hired workers to dig a fair amount of soil and stone and built a very solid house there. It could be the strongest building around here. It looks just like a fortress. How do you know that this Rhodes Island would be willing to help us? Well, I can say that they'd probably be willing to help. There's only one watchman at the building, and I know him. I purchased some medical supplies from him before. There's a lot of soil. Most likely they dug out the basement. Sounds like a safe house used by mercenaries. Doesn't sound reliable. Unless we have a better option, I suggest we take a look. Without food nor water, staying in this place was no different than waiting for death. That building is at the edge of town. We can head over from outside to avoid being seen by others. Hmm... Tots, is your shield still usable? Half of it. I can use it to bash someone. Probably. I need someone to go with me to help protect the doctor. I'll go. Worst comes to worst, I can always shield the doctor with my body. Don't talk like that. Tots and I will go with the doctor to check out that safe house. Tina, you stay here with Alexander. Understood. Doctor, no matter what happens next, please follow my orders. Understood. Cots, protect the doctor well. I'll keep him safe.
I don't see any lights. Is there no one here? Keep your distance. This building's door has been smashed. In here. What are these thugs' goals? To rob and plunder like common bandits? Probably these are the folks attempting to gather corpses. Create them, perhaps, before doing so. Help! Help! Anyone, help me! I don't want to die. It's the Watchman. Don't move and stay here. I'll go have a look. That's a Rose Island operator, if ever we've seen one. If only I didn't take this job. I don't want to die here. Who are you? Don't move. Your leg's broken. Mer mercenaries. Don't kill me. I beg you. Don't kill me. I really don't know where the key is. I'm just a simple watchman. Please believe me. I really don't know. Calm down. I'm here to help. You... You're not together with those guys. Help me. Help me. I said, calm down. Cots, bring the doctor. Mr. Ockfen, your leg. You, you're that infected doctor. Oh, thank heavens. Don't worry, let me look at your leg. Yeah, I was wondering if that uh, pattern on the back of uh, Miaro's neck was perhaps Originium. Man, this place has been turned upside down. The inside looks a lot smaller than the outside. Secret doors, hidden rooms, and fortified walls. Aren't all safe houses like that? What's this? Radio equipment? It's completely destroyed, though. Such a large machine. It looks very retro. Turns out this world also had communications equipment like this. They even have cars, after all. It's not strange for them to have radio. There were other broken electronics back at the rundown house we stayed at before, like the fridge, fans, kettle, though none of them actually used electricity. Just like this wireless radio in that car we got. All these machines have a device filled with black crystals. I suppose that is the energy source for these devices? Please be gentler, Doctor. Please bear with it. Luckily, it's not very serious. The bone isn't broken. I see he also has hints of uh, originium crystal formation on his forearm there. You're the person in charge of this place? This is Rhodes Island's branch office. I'm actually just a simple watchman. Let me guess, those thugs came here and forced you to open the basement door, but you persisted in your duty and kept playing dumb, which resulted in you getting beat up here and, and left here to die? Something like that. Wait, how did you know there's a basement? You've been tricked. We're actually the thugs back up here to get you to confess everything. What? Cots. Don't get angry. I'm just trying to liven up the atmosphere. Ooh, what are you actually planning to do? Don't worry, they're good people. They've been protecting the inhabitants of the infected zone all this while. The infected zone was attacked as well? This... It's messed up. What about the Lord's soldiers? Where are Lord Tula's soldiers? Lord's soldiers still haven't appeared. They might be in trouble as well. Possibly being troubled by action, by the, uh, a better batch of monsters. Mr. Watchman, we need your help. But what can I do to help? I can't even stand up right now. The infected townsfolk have also been attacked, many of them being injured and the buildings of the infected zone su suffering heavy damages. We need you to open up the safe house and let them hide in there. That. In return, we will guarantee your safety. You can trust us. But, but I... Based on the contract I signed with Rhodes Island, the entire safe house here is the property of Rhodes Island. I don't have the authority. <sighs> Infected. Alright, let them come. Losing my job is better than losing my life. Thank you. If there's anything Rhodes Island approves of, it is protecting the infected, generally speaking. But yes. So, 
I think probably we're going to wrap things up for today. So yeah, I am a little bit tired, like I said, so I don't want to linger for too long. I do need to get a little bit more sleep. Because yes, I was up a little bit late last night. But yes, so I was a little bit worried about the time. Uh, part of the part of the reason why I was stilted at a few points there was I was uh, actually looking up the length of the event, and we do have a yeah we do have until or like through this next Saturday to play. So basically, what I what I need to do is I need to commit to making sure that I sleep well so that I can stream well so that we can get through this. If we continue at a rate of you know two missions per day. We should very easily be able to clear this within the time allotted without any particular issues, though I will, you know, have to in keep my streaming schedule a little bit up. But that's fine. I can make do. And again, when we're playing through these relatively easy missions, though I suppose they're going to get harder pretty quick here. But yes, as we play through these easier missions, I probably can fast forward a little bit more. Honestly, that's a, a thing I should do more often, maybe. Save a little bit of time. But yes, ideally, if we could, a three, three mission stream, three mission stream would get us pretty close to the end here, I guess. Because yeah, I did look it up and this is also eight missions from what I can gather. So anyway, all of that being said, let's wrap up. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Room. Okay. So. Let's see. Ah, yes. So. Raid suggestions. As always, if anyone would like to make a suggestion, I would be glad to hear you. If not, I can... Eh, if not, I can find a target on my own. Um. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if not, I can find a target on my own. Um schedule. Okay, yeah, I am a little bit sleepy. <laughs> okay, give me a second to, to collect myself. So, schedule. Next week, again, we will be streaming at an increased rate, so probably we will be streaming every day that I possibly can. So yes, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as necessary. But yes, currently we are not expecting a collab on Saturday, or sorry, on Friday. Because that is usually, yeah, that would be the, the week that uh, Sheps does their other collab. But yes. So, yeah, the collab that Sheps does with me would not be on that day. Yeah, unless something unusual and unexpected happens, but, you know, could go either way. Um, that's a cute sleeping emote. Anyway, so, um, okay. <laughs> got off topic a little bit again so yes once again i will stream every every day starting monday as necessary until we have cleared this event um and let's see i guess not a whole lot to be said other than that so yes so on yeah i guess for thursday and friday streams i work late again on those days so you can expect a stream closer to 9 30 p.m central time and on every other day, I should be able to make a stream close to 8.30 p.m. Central Time, maybe a little bit later, as in this case. Hopefully next time we won't have weird uh, internet issues where I disconnect from the internet briefly and have kind of a poor connection for parts of the stream. Not sure what was up with that, but it happens, I suppose. But yes, so... Nothing else that I can think of to say. It looks like we don't have a raid suggestion. So, I think tonight... I think tonight we are going to go and visit... Um... Who do we visit? Lots of good choices out there. Pardon. Um... We haven't visited Svela in a while yet. In a while yet. We haven't visited Svela in a while. So, Svela Prisera. Yes, a Valkyrie VTuber. Someone that we see fairly often. Doing a just chatting stream, it looks like. Let's hop on over there and see what's going on. 
probably should have done that a second ago so that we would have more time to uh, wait for the ad to run out. In fact, I'm just going to sit here for a little while and talk so that the ad can run out so that I can, you know, actually interact when I arrive. But yes, so once again, roughly 8.30 p.m. Central Time for most streams, give or take, probably... Actually, would it be give or take in this, in this instance to have a longer stream? Um, I don't know. Anyway. 8.30 to 9.30 for, uh, yeah most streams, and then 9, 9 to 9.30, did I say 8.30 to 9.30? 8.30 to 9 for most streams, 9.30 to, or 9 to 9.30 on Thursday and Friday streams. Okay, anyway, so let's get this raid set up. Did I spell that correctly? I think so. So yes, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much. And ah, have a good night. You as well. Yes, thank you all very much. And farewell. Let us get this raid underway.